For decades, the United States has been the global leader in scientific research, fostering an environment of open collaboration that has driven groundbreaking discoveries. But this open system is now actively being corrupted by the Chinese Communist Party. Under Xi Jinping, the CCP has honed its strategy of exploiting our open, federally funded research and academic partnerships to achieve technological supremacy and drive military advancement using American taxpayer dollars. Over the past year and a half, the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party, alongside the Committee on Education and Workforce, conducted a joint investigation into the links between U.S. universities, federally funded U.S. researchers, and entities tied to China's defense apparatus. What we uncovered was appalling. First, American taxpayers are funding research collaborations that pose a national security risk to the United States. We found thousands of research publications supported by funding from the Department of Defense, where U.S. researchers partnered with academics at Chinese universities on projects designed to build the next generation of military capabilities. These projects covered nuclear and high-energy physics, hypersonic technology, artificial intelligence, robotics, and other technologies with potential military uses. In short, we're providing backdoor access to the very foreign adversary nation who we must build these military capabilities to defend against. To explain how this technology transfer happens, we dug deep into six case studies where academics in the U.S. took millions of dollars in federal funding and helped China achieve technological advances on the exact same technologies that the U.S. government funded. One led a research team in China in synthesizing a new compound that Chinese media hailed as opening the door for fourth generation nuclear technology. An AI researcher who received more than $30 million in U.S. research funding is now leading China's efforts to develop artificial generalized intelligence, an effort he has compared to China's version of the Manhattan Project in its strategic value. Another researcher created a lab in China that, with his guidance and support, achieved a major advance in the use of new materials in semiconductors. Another collaborated with a PRC researcher for one of China's seven sons of national defense universities on drone swarm control and advanced aircraft maneuvering techniques, exactly the kind of capabilities that could be used against Americans in a future conflict. A nanotechnology researcher received millions in funding from NASA and the U.S. Air Force and at the same time participated in talent programs designed to transfer technology to China and even conducted research alongside the Chinese military. His contributions were so significant they were recognized by Xi Jinping himself at China's International Science and Technology Cooperation Awards ceremony. But the source of this damage to U.S. national security extends beyond each individual researcher. The CCP is also exploiting partnerships between U.S. universities and Chinese institutions in the form of China-based joint institutes to achieve its goals of technological and military supremacy. We dug deep into three such institutes, Tsinghua Berkeley Shenzhen Institute, Georgia Tech Shenzhen Institute, and Sichuan University Pittsburgh Institute. We saw troubling patterns. PRC control over governance, curriculum, funding, you name it. The PRC then integrates much of the research into the advancement of China's defense and tech industrial base under a policy called civil military fusion to build its next generation fighter jets, autonomous weapon systems, and artificial intelligence models. In short, these partnerships serve as sophisticated conduits for transferring critical U.S. technologies and expertise to China's defense, security, and industrial sectors. In response to our inquiry, Georgia Tech decided to do the right thing for U.S. national security and shut down its joint institute with the blacklisted Tianjin University in China. It's time for other universities to follow suit. As the CCP continues to exploit these vulnerabilities, the threat to U.S. technological superiority and national security grows increasingly acute. That is why the Select Committee and the Committee on Education and Workforce 
put together concrete policy recommendations to prevent future taxpayer-funded research from assisting the most important military and economic priorities of the Chinese Communist Party. We recommend strengthening the guardrails on emerging technology research, restricting collaboration with blacklisted entities, and enhancing university oversight and transparency through the Deterrent Act. The stakes could not be higher. Urgent and decisive action is needed to close these loopholes and safeguard America's innovative edge. The future of American technological dominance and global security hangs in the balance.